What up? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dudes and dudettes. Welcome back to another day. Day 207, if I'm not mistaken. Day 207 of Dave's Daily D. Dave's Daily Discussions. You know me. I'm Dave. And you know, just got out of the gym. About to go grab me some quick food so I can get home and walk the dogs. Not a bad day. It's been busy, but not a bad day. Uh, I didn't put out a video yesterday. I think the last one I put out was like two days ago. And then over the weekend, I took some time off, obviously, from doing the video. Just uh, it's Mother Day's week, Mother's Day weekend, and it was a struck bus. Tough, tough time. Obviously, Monday, I was in my feels. But uh, I'm doing okay. I'm hanging in here trying to make the best of it. So, thinking to myself today, I did a memo. I'll have to try and see if I remember because I didn't keep the sticky note. I wrote down in a memo a little bit about me and like what I what I am and who I am, what I do. So, they can be great. They can be flaws. It just depends on perception. But I am a critical thinker, a deep thinker. I see more than what's on the surface immediately in many situations. I see very many different levels to so many different things. When most people just look at something and they deceive it for what it is. That's not everybody. There are other people that are, you know, probably like me. But I hear about it a lot. They say you overthink, you put so much thought, you know, you, you make things complicated, you don't give a simple answer, all these different things. And a lot of people make you, throughout life, you know, I've, I've been, I've just had people that are just like, you're so complex, complicated, all this stuff. You know, people make you feel like you need to change who you are, that you shouldn't be so complicated. And that's why, you know, things fell apart or they don't wanna, you know, deal with you or whatever. And it's, it's a misconception. I, I am proud of who I am. I love who I am. Sometimes it can bother me because I'm like, maybe I am just a little bit too complex. But I'm never going to change who I am for anybody. And uh, there's levels to it. I try to not do it in certain situations, but it's hard. It's just who I am. And the other thought on there, there's another thought I have that is tied to it. Um, I had like a couple different things on the sticky note. I'm trying to think of what the other one was. Because there was, you know, critical thinking, there was deep thinking, there was seeing multiple levels on the surface. I am who I am. There was another phrase. And I can't leave this without the video turning off on me. There's no way to pause. Ugh. And I almost want to pause. Well, not pause, but stop the video start another one but I don't want to do all that doesn't sound very fun um, oh I got it I got it sorry about the rambling and the pause there but I got it so um, with my mind one thought one situation can spark a web a whole family tree of ideas, of intelligent or intellectual, creative thought process. My mindset to everything is to grow. My mindset to everything is to want, not everything, but my mindset to a lot of things is, how can I make this better? How can I gain more from this? How can I maximize? Is there a way to make this better? It's who I am as a person. I don't like to settle. There is being satisfied and happy with what you have. And there is wanting more. And then there is also settling for way less than you should because you know whether you're driven or it's you know whatever the case is I don't like to settle for less 
I know what I'm worth. I know what I have to offer. I know that my hard work and my dedication to everything is very, very high level for a leverage perspective. And I know that when I am not appreciated or if I feel like people aren't realizing how special what I do is, you start to have tough days. You start to not want to put in as much effort or passion. You start to, you know, it's in anything. It's, you know, if you're in a relationship and you feel like you're not getting the same from somebody, if you were, you know, it's tough. Like it's, it's a conversation kind of had to have and whatnot, but like when you're doing something and you're giving your all and you feel like, you know, somebody just doesn't care or, you know, they think that, you know, you just put in a ton of effort into something and they put in, you know, five minutes or just a quick thought and there was, there, you just don't feel like there's an actual appreciation. They don't realize how much you really just put into what you did. And that bothers me because when I'm doing something, Like I've said in other videos, if I put my stamp on it, if I put my name behind it, I'm doing it at a high level and I want it to, I want it to be successful. I want there to be legs under it. I want it to be great. So I don't like to be mediocre. I don't like to give less effort. But there's times when you get blinded by things and you just get sidetracked and you you have to have the awareness to realize when you are not thinking clearly and you zone out on something and you check out. You have to wake yourself up and either be real about it, get away from it, or get reinvested into it, passionate about it again, so that you are not just going through the motions, especially when it involves other people or other somebody else, especially significant others, whatever the case is, you have to be open and honest about those things because there's just so much at stake, and especially when it comes to relationships. I mean, you, you're messing with somebody's emotions and feelings and that. So, you know, it's it's one of those things. But I just kind of wanted to talk about, you know, how I feel about all that. Stupid thing. It's, it's been a trying process because I've been so busy at work lately, and I've had so much going on that I have to constantly remind myself, like, hey, it's, it's busy season you're handling kind of two things right now give it your all do your best manage your time maximize your time and uh you know it'll, it'll all work out like it'll it'll be noticed and sometimes i feel like it's not and uh that you know it could be me because i'm an overthinker but stepping back to the conversation that i you know in the beginning of this that i said i am a deep thinker i am a critical thinker I love to think about the critical moving parts of things. I love to think about why things work. I have a psycho I have a psychology background. I think about all the moving parts of why things are going the way they are. What effects do they have? What does it do to something? Like I look at I was, I've had this conversation with a couple people. I look at our youth and I look at some of the things that are out there and I'm like, is this really out there right now? Like this is this is affecting people psychologically. I mean, there's obviously psychological things out there, but you are literally, on a mass scale, you've got songs and YouTube videos and stuff out there that is literally out there for children under the age of five. And they say the first four years are the most absorbent, most important years for growth and learning and, and the structure of a child and development. And when they aren't getting proper development and they're also being fed not so positive things, it worries me because you start to see a transition. Like I, I was hearing from people that you know, you've got kids nowadays that are young, like under the age of eight that are already talking about dying and not wanting to be here and stuff like that. And it's heartbreaking to think like that's a time of innocence. Like there, even years after that, that is a time of innocence. You don't have to worry about bills. You don't have to worry about things. Like you should be in a situation where you're enjoying life and being happy. We got these kids out here that are already thinking about death and dying and not wanting to be around because of how things are in society and the things that they have been exposed to and 
that are out there. It's just, it's subliminal. It is psychological. It, it is a problem. And me as a person, I want to make a difference. I want to change things. I want to be positive and do a lot more for society. And just the simple fact that, you know, you've got, you've got these, these YouTube videos out here. You've got tons of things that it, it's, it's a difference because it's not, it's not about, you know, taking things and keeping kids away from things. It is literally about um, parents, just having the ability, parents, friends, role models, teachers. It's literally about having conversations with people, being able to talk to people and literally have a conversation of like, hey, you can talk to me. You can be open and honest to be able to deal with those things. Because, you know, if, if you don't work through those things and you already have issues internally, it's, it's a thing that you can just... We lose too many people, way too many people. I have lost a lot of friends to, you know, depression and suicide and things like that. And to see that people are struggling and going through those things and they have nobody to talk to. I always want to be that person to talk to. Anybody can talk to me, anything of that nature. I don't care what it is. There's no judgment, none of that. If you want to talk to me, you can. I mean, even if you're watching this video, like you can message me, whatever the case is. Like nobody should feel so alone in a situation that they can't talk to anybody. And the only escape is that I, I don't want that for people and I can't tell people what to do. But if you're going through that, talk to the people that you trust, find people that you can talk to and communicate with. That you can talk about what you're feeling that you can, whether it's a professional, a parent, a friend, the biggest thing that I struggled with when I was in my teenage years, when I was struggling is talking to my family, talking to my parents. You're embarrassed. You don't want to talk about things. You think they're going to be mad. And that is a thing that is ingrained in every kid, every teenager. You don't think you could talk to anybody. And, uh, you know, once you actually do that, once you have that conversation, you know, you realize that they're actually there for you and they care for you. They love you, your family. So anybody out there who's struggling, you're having those thoughts and, and having those issues, especially the younger crowd that had, don't know how to deal with that, that mindset, that feeling, that mental, you, you don't know how to, to deal with everything that's coming at you. It's sensory overload. If you're feeling those things, talk to somebody, whether it's me, your parents, a friend, whoever, a, a teacher, a counselor, whoever you got to talk to, make sure you're talking to somebody to get help. Because if you don't, I don't want to see anybody go through tough times or get hurt. So with that being said, I love y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Dave's Daily D. If you're struggling, talk to me. Talk to somebody. I love y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in.